Hey guys, it's Kelly. My hair might look over because I showered like an hour ago and you know, my hair's still a red, so yeah. Um when this video comes out, it's Wednesday when I'm filming it, but it's not coming out till tomorrow, which is Thursday. So yeah. Um so like Jesse uploaded a video today. I mean technically when you see this it would be yesterday. But um yeah, he uploaded a video and pretty much, um like, I don't know. Like, in the beginning, how he handled it with, um, Ashley's dad. He should have acted more maturely instead of just yelling and, like, saying shit. Like, he's just trying to look out for his daughter at the end of the day. I don't know. I just think the way he handled it could have been better. Anyways, um, first comment is from the Three Musketeers. Hold on, I'm gonna move it forward. Oh, God, I can't stop it. Um, I give you a like. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, Three Musketeers. Nice video. Thank you. Um, Mr. XD Game ZZYT, the links are bots. Yeah, probably. The Three Musketeers, one, two, three. I got those comments too on my videos. It's nasty sites. I know, I don't know why. They will never click on links, guys, you see in the comments. Um, they usually are bad sites. Mr. XD Game ZZYT, I'm completely unsure who Deck Chair is. And Everyone would like to know. Just preparing for disappointment if that's someone close to Jesse Gray. We all we know now is that Deck Chair is a female. I mean that's at least what Jesse's saying, so who knows? Um and, uh, yeah, who knows? So I guess we have to wait and see more. The three musketeers. I love the part of the fair where you said fucking hats. <laughs> Thanks. I know fa I don't annoying though. Matthew the Phantom, I only saw the first conjuring film at the moment. Thanks for asking. Yeah, um, they were both good. I like the second one probably better. No, they were both really good movies. The second Conjuring is good too. Because it has the Nun Valak. And then Valak ends up having like his own movie called The Nun. And The Nun was a good movie too. So watch them. I just finally recommend them um, to all of you. Matthew and Phantom. I'll try to keep an eye on your diss track. But if it gets taken out, let me know. Sorry, goddamn YouTube. I go with him to so know. Speaking of um, videos getting taken out. Jesse a little while ago, well, uh, filming, this is not coming out till tomorrow, um, put up on Story Fight, the, uh, um, laxative prank he did on Jeffrey during Psycho Series. Oh, my um, I, I got taken off YouTube, like, two-ish years ago, I'd say. Um, so yeah, I just re-uploaded on Story Fire, so check that out if you're interested. Killer STK35. I'm gonna try something a little different for your reading the comments, so let's see how this goes. Okay. What's your favorite song? I don't really have one. Um, I really love the song um, Monsters by Demi Lovato and the band All Time Low. Um, I love the I really love the song by my Chief Gun Kelly and um Black Bear, my ex best friend. Check out these songs if you haven't. Um, what else? Yeah, I like Eminem. I don't really have like a favorite song. There's a few songs I really like. And I really love that Taylor Swift song, Willow. That's probably my top three favorites right now, as of right now. Number two, what's something you hope to accomplish in life? Be successful on YouTube and marry Jesse. <laughs> three, what's the best date you've ever had or seen? Best date? I've never been on a date. I've never even kissed anyone. Had my first kiss. Never had a boyfriend. So, seen? I don't know about seen. So, what's a funny story you've never had an opportunity to tell or your favorite funny story? Um... I don't know, I don't have a funny story about me. My sister Gloria, shout out to Gloria. She's clumsy, she falls a lot. And the other night, like a week ago or two weeks, um, cause she has drop foot. So what happens is her foot kind of gives out sometimes. So we were about to like get, you know, to like stairs to walk up the stairs and she had a bowl of fruit and like her foot gave out and she fell. Um, it was kind of funny. We always laugh, she laughs too. Um, she does a lot of stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's a lot of funny moments. I'm trying to think. There's a few hours, like, she almost bangs the wall. Like, we're all fridges in this little pantry area, but then when you come behind you, there's these, like, walls, because it's, like, a little, its own kind of little room type thing. She almost, like, turned around from the fridge and was walking to the wall before. Um, what else is there? I don't know. She just love funny stories like that, so. Five. What do you do if you get recognized by a fan? I don't know. I'm a very shy person, so I might just act shy. And that's not me acting mean, but I don't know. Six, would you rather date a nerd or a jock? 
don't know. Maybe like a kind of a combination of both. I feel like that's kind of what Jesse is. He's kind of a nerd type. He's not like jock and just both, but he's kind of like also the cool kid as well. So, yeah. Seven. Which is better crawling a partner in? In a partner in your eyes. Honesty, loyalty, look, humor. Probably loyalty. Honesty too, but loyalty. Eight. Which celebrity do you admire most? I don't know about admire, but... Um, I don't know. Nine, which video of yours sticks out at you the most of mine? Sticks out to me? I don't know. I have a lot of, I have, uh, I have a lot of good videos. Probably any of my McJugger Nuggets ones because I really like those. Um, and I really put effort into a lot of them. I'm not talking about the McJugger Nuggets reactions, but like the other ones where I put images in or stuff like that and do research for. Um, and ten, which season is your favorite? This kind of goes hand with what the child age favorite. Season, summer, I love summer because you can do so much in summer. Go to beaches, parks, amusement parks. And a holiday for me would be Christmas. Um, Alright, that wraps it up. I hope it brings you some entertainment. I can't wait to see your response. If you want more, just let me know. I've been enjoying your content. Keep it rigid, Casey. Thanks, killer. Um, if you're a juggy killer, uh, we have a group chat on Instagram. We've been talking to other juggies, so you should... Consider joining. Just DM me on my Casey So Druggy um, Instagram, and I can add you to the group chat. We would love to have you. Um, but yeah, guys, this goes for all of you too. I love questions to be able to answer questions in your comments. So feel free to ask questions. Um, next is Kings. You really think it's real? And that's responding to a video Colin uploaded on my um, channel. Guys, who cares if people want to believe it's real? Let them. Like with TV shows, obviously we know TV shows are not real, but when we watch them, we do kind of think it's real. We feel it's real because of how it's done, it makes you feel like it's real. So, this next one from RGJ Black Animes. This is another language, I'm not sure which language, but I do have the translation up here. I forget what the translation was and I literally just did it. But, um, yeah. So, I'll have that up here too, so you guys can see it. Um, Colin told bless you because I sneezed one of the Thank you. Colin put interesting. Thank you. Matthew and Phantom. I didn't know you were into guys with blue eyes. I myself have blue eyes just in case you were curious. Uh, that's cool. Michael said great questions and explanations. Great video. Thank you. Michael said plus that hat is fire. I want one now. Thank you. Caleb Costing. He's good at creating stuff. Meaning Jesse. He is. I feel like with, with a lot of the stuff he creates, especially MVE or like some of his recent... Not today's video, um, but the last video I uploaded the other day. Like the way he does it, he makes it feel. It makes you feel like you're watching a movie or TV show, especially because he does such great camera angles too. Or like well, Nick does, but so he tells Nick like, you know. So, um, they call me Juggy Ghost. Hashtag AGP. It's wine. Yeah, I know he was drinking wine. I mean, who knows? There could have been grape juice. Cause again, like think about it. for example, like with bear. You can use apple juice, you know, because apple juice looks the same color as bear, because bear's like that yellow color. I mean, I don't know about all bears, but I think most bears, right? Like, especially Corona. I've seen Corona bears. It's like the same color as apple juice, so you can get away with apple juice. Same with, like, when it comes to wine, you can use grape juice. I'm sure that's, like, what they use in movies and TV shows. Yeah. Entitled, unfortunately, dude's really mad at the outcome of selling it to random people. Fucking joke. I know, like I get it, it sucks like it's, you know, you couldn't keep it going, but it's still around, like, you know, apparently, um, he said that Deck Chair has money to keep it going for years, so I mean, it's still there, he acts like it's not there anymore, I don't know, Mountain and Phantom, any idea what's in that chest, Jesse just opened, I have no idea, but I want to know, like, I know he buried it for some reason, but I hope we get to see. I look at the shadow of my glasses. It kind of makes it look like I have a unibrow. <laughs> Anyways, um, this next one is from Eldo Ordo. I don't know how to say his name, but you guys see the comment. As you guys can see, it's in Chinese, and at the end, it has, like, a number. It says, best folder ten go girls. Oh, don't click that link. That link's obviously a thing. I'm going to delete it, but I do want Colin to put the translation up, too, because I want you guys to see, and I want to know, so... I'm going to delete it, but it's still, obviously it's still going to be in the video and the translation is going to be up to it there too. Um, yeah, we're going to move in. 
Matthew and Phantom. I feels like I'm watching a movie. Holy shit, Jesse's a great actor. He is, like I just said, it does feel that way. Matthew and Phantom. Yep, that's fucking buried, alright. <laughs> Matthew and Phantom. Shit, Jesse's going crazy. I know. Matthew and Phantom. What's up, Kel? Just to let you know, you should watch the and the Evil Dead. That film was released in 1981. If you have Netflix and anything else, you should look look it up. It's called The Evil Dead, not the one in 2013. The one in 19. 81. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't have Netflix, you should think about signing up on it. So a lot of people are using it. A lot of people are using it. I don't have it it because I'm old school and I don't know how to do the setting up and paying online. For example, asking your card number or PayPal. I don't understand. It's too complex for me. I mean, it's really not like too hard, honestly. Um, but yeah, I, do, I don't have my own Netflix, but I do have access to Netflix. When I heard of you will then. But I don't know if that's really something I'm into. Um, this next one's to another one, like Chinese or Japanese. Another bad link. I'm going to have Colin do the translation um, on this one as well. Just so we can see him, but I am still going to delete it. Um, so, yeah, but. Yeah. They call me Juggy Ghost. It's, that is weird, Kelly. I see that too. Couples usually sleep in the same bed on vacation. I know. I think that's why I know a lot of you might be thinking it's not the hugest bill, but I don't know. I mean, unless, like, that's something all I had was for twin beds and didn't have any one bed. But again, like, it's not like a lot of people are going to be going there because it, it's still COVID, you know, even though things are getting better and people are getting vaccinated. So, I don't know. I think it's rare, too. Matthew and Phantom, for fuck's sake, why do people need plastic surgery to look perfect? People are beautiful the way they are. Nobody should tell anyone to get plastic surgery. And Cal, if anyone tells you to get plastic surgery, tell them to go fuck themselves. Thanks, I agree. I agree too. I mean, if that's something that someone wants to do for themselves, that's one thing. But don't let someone talk you talk into talk you into getting that. You know, um, Kaylin Cossack. It's stage, remember? Kaylin Cossack. Her dad's not like that. And the last comment is from Kaylin Cossack. Isaac might come back. Um, so response to his comments, which is most likely stage and. You can't really say her dad's not like that because we don't know her dad. Personally, he could be like that. So, I mean, that's just like kind of a broad statement to make and kind of, in a way, ignorant. Like, I get it because most of the stuff is fake. See, what the sad thing is, I was thinking about this earlier. Jesse's like the boy who cried wolf because he always cried. He always says all these videos are real, but they end up being scripted. So one of these times, his videos are going to be real. Like, now they could be real, and we're all gonna think it's fake because a lot of this stuff is fake. So, who knows? And I'm sick and tired of seeing people saying, "Oh, Isaac might come back, or I want Isaac back, or Devil Inside back." Guys, give it up already! Don't you want him to do new stuff? Why do you want him to keep doing the old stuff over and over? Like, come on. Um, I'll be down in a minute. But anyways, um, yeah, I mean, Isaac's story's been told already. Let it go. It's over with, you know. Let's move on. Let's have him do new stuff, different stuff, instead of the same old. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Follow me on my socials. Follow Khan and so subscribe to Josh. Subscribe to Rizmi Hashtag AGP. Subscribe to our show, Always Sons Go Juggy. My dad just got me Dutch's hot dog, so I'm happy. And I'm sure a lot of you don't know Dutch is just where I live. We only had Dutch's here, so. But Dutch's is really good, so. I love you, animals. Subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.